Hello friends, it's Lisa and today I'm sharing this flip page. So I'm doing the Get Organized Challenge and one of the things you're supposed to do is create rewards. So this is my week two rewards. I am going to do a movie night. So if I complete my homework for next week, I'm going to get a movie night. I had my Saturday at Starbucks, which was fun. So I'm in Cricut Design Space right now designing my tag. So for this one, I went in and found a little ticket stub. You can find a lot of different images within Cricut Design Space. And if you have the Cricut Access, which I have, you can use a lot of those. So if it has a big A beside it, like you can see the girly stencil has a big green A beside it. That means that I have access to it without paying for it. So that for me, that's important. I don't want to I pay for the access so I don't have to pay every time I want to use something else. So I'm using this stencil font, which allows when I, you'll see in just a moment, I'm going to cut the movie night out of this, of this ticket, ticket stub, sorry, ticket stub. And when I do that, since I use the stencil font, I, I will have one full piece that I'll be using. And instead of having holes inside the E, the O, and the G, which would have just been something else to have to worry about losing. Now, I have welded those letters together just to make it easier to move them around and resize them properly. I'm also have movie larger than night just because graphically I did want to make sure that I had that centered so you saw that I centered that the movie night as well as aligned it to the right and then I sliced it at the bottom right hand corner you'll see that slice tool I went ahead and did that now I've decided to pull up a square and this is just one of the shapes and I just made that to the width of the page or the little flip page that I'm using and decided to make sure I had that size properly. In the end I went ahead and created the pages which if you want to see how I created those pages they are two videos back. Anyway so I did that it, just to make sure I had it sized right and I liked the look of it. I don't actually cut out that page for this specific project. I found that same ticket stub again and decided I'd have a another stub hanging up off the top. So you'll see in just a minute I'm going to cut that out. It takes a little bit of effort and finagling. If I'd planned it before... I put the movie night in, it would have been a lot easier, but I had already passed that point a long, long time before, so I'm just kind of planning this out. Week two is paper. For me, really the only paper I have left to organize is my eight and a half by 11, which I'm just waiting for the product that I want to use to organize that in. But I also have a bunch of vinyl that I or need to organize. And I think this kind of falls into the same category. So for me, I'm doing paper and vinyl. But I didn't want to worry about that. Having it properly noted wasn't as big of a deal. I know that it's paper and vinyl. It's, it looked better with just paper rather than trying to make it the right size for the paper and vinyl. So because... I have a really graphic look going on right now, so it's really turning out super fantastic. <laughs> I was really happy with how my design, I'm not a graphic design artist or anything, no, you know, nothing like that, but I thought that this turned out really cute. So you'll see here, I'm just fitting it in. Since I don't attach it or weld those two pieces together, they... When they cut, they'll go, they'll cut apart. 
but I did attach the paper, the two paper with the little ticket stub. Here you can see all of the colors that I use on this project. So I use Night Storm Spectrum Noir Sparkle Marker, E81 Copic, as well as one other Copic that I forget, just to add a little bit of darkness, or shading, sorry, that's the right word to say. Then I used Light Turquoise Spectrum Noir Gilding Wax, as well as Empire Gold Pebio Gilding Wax, and then some Oasis Spectrum Noir Harmony Inks. Sorry, I just, I those are new to me, so I'm still getting used to that they're Harmony Inks. But I really like the Crafter's Companion Spectrum Noir line. It's... I, Personally, I like the Copic markers better than their Spectrum Noir markers. I haven't tried the illustrators, so I can't say if those are better or not, but I do really like the brush tips. That's why I went with the Copic rather than their just regular markers. But I was amazed at how well all of these different mediums look together. So actually, the Nightstorm, Empire Gold... Oasis and Light Turquoise are all Spectrum Noir Crafters Companion products. The Gold Empire Pebio comes from Pebio, but Crafters Companion sells it. So I didn't really realize when I has, had started working on this, but basically all the colors are from Crafters Companion, which is awesome. I really like their company. You'll see now I'm a little out of frame, so I'm putting my camera at a different angle. So usually I have it, I'm working closer to myself, but now I need to learn to move my stuff back. So I apologize. But this is really simple. I'm just coloring over the paper. <laughs> so you're not missing anything there. You can see one thing you have to do every once in a while is put the cap back on, shake it up, push, push a little bit, and it'll start coming out again. It just, the chamber in there fills, you have to push to fill up the chamber, use all that push to fill up the chamber, which is good because you want to shake it up between filling up the chamber. So then I'm taking the Oasis Spectrum Noir Harmony Ink Pad and I'm blending over. The, there are a lot of good properties about this ink. Probably the best is how easily it blends. It's almost as good as Distress Oxide, but it's a dye ink. So it's amazing. I've never had a dye ink that blends anywhere close to this. So then we have the Light Turquoise Gilding Wax. This is amazing, and I need so many more colors of this. Too bad they don't have any more than the six that I already bought. But they're awesome, and they're such fun pigmented colors. I also love how small of a pot it is. Now, that pot will last me forever. It, you don't need a ton of some products, and this is one of those products where you just need a little bit. So I'm glad that I have that small pot. It's going to sound weird. Usually more is better, but actually having that size is easy to store, easy to feel good about. It comes in at a good price point. So I would really suggest looking at these, the gilding wax, if you're interested in metallic sparkly awesomeness, which, you know, I bought a lot of really matte mediums. All the ink pads, Copics, they're all matte. But I looked at all the colors that I have because I just finished all my ink swatching, which is a whole nother video that I'm working on, but it's a little intense. And I was like, I need more sparkle. I need more blitz. So I think if I buy any more colors of anything, it's going to be super fancy, metallic -y, shiny, glittery goodness. Now I've let that little ticket stub dry because the Spectrum Noir 
sparkle markers are water-based, so it's important to let them dry, as well as I let the background dry for a little bit. Because the gilding wax, when it is dry, it's fine, it's not going to move around, you're not going to pick it up with your finger, but you do have to give it that time to dry. Now, I'm not sure, did, yes, we talked, I think I just talked through this, but I did color that that little part of the stub with E81 marker. Now, I realize at this point it looks very flat. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit darker of a marker to the edge and blend that out with the E81 just to make it look like it's behind the blue ticket stub. Oh, I'm adding the little stars. You saw that as well. One of, The small one is the E81 Copic marker, and the larger one is the Empire Gold Pebio. So really, that, I didn't want too much gold. I wanted the blue to kind of star the show. So, oh, here are the other two markers that I used. Perfect. E43 and, oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it, but you can go back and pause it. So I'm going to Go ahead and put the dark color down and start blending it out. This is the medium color. I add a little bit darker color, but I'm gonna, I was thinking that the medium color alone might work, but I still needed something darker. So I'm going with that E43, which is just a little bit of shading, but it adds depth that it that this project didn't have. Now at this point I thought I was done but I looked at it and I was like mmm it's just not speaking to me it's not saying I'm done. I thought maybe if I added some white to the inside of those letters it would make the movie night pop and I'd be good it would be done. But I don't know if you've ever had those <laughs> projects where you're like Mm-mm, this is not done. It is not. It's just, it's missing something. And that's what happened for me with this page. I was loving how it was turning out. It's very simple, but graphic, and I just wanted it to pop. So, my solution was to add Ranger Glossy Accents. Sorry. Ranger Glossy Accents. It took me a few minutes to cover this whole thing. I have the small one, the small bottle, and the tip works fine. I, you can get tips that are smaller and more precise, but I didn't have any issues for, I've done this, I do this again on the other movie night. I had a little bit drop off, but I just used a pick, picked it up, wiped it away, and it was fine. So uh, you can pay more money and get a smaller nib, but it's harder to push out, and you don't really need it. Also, my niece decided to come in and craft with me, so you can see her on the left, and she is making her teacher a card. She's such a sweetheart. So she really wanted to help, but I was like, I'm at this point. I'm sorry, hon. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Come back again tomorrow and have a wonderful day.